repair the damage. In her memory, she said, they heard them say there's been too much blood loss. She thought they were just taking her blood. What are they going to do with my blood? Actually, they were making repairs on her body. And from then on, her white blood cell count was extremely normal. The doctors said she shouldn't even be walking around. And what they said from now on, that will be her normal blood count with the white blood cells because of what she had done and the repairs that had to be made. But an amazing case I just came over the last year was a doctor that had been writing me for quite a while. He had an unusual experience and he wanted to know if we could have a session to find out what it was. What makes this case unusual is that his wife was a witness to the procedure. Normally, it's a very individual thing and no one else will be aware of what is happening. In this case, he was in, his, in bed, he was reading while he was getting ready to go to sleep. He didn't have a shirt on, he was sitting up in bed. His wife came into the bedroom wanting to know why did he go to bed so early. Then suddenly, he said, on his chest, blood began to pour out of his chest. As a doctor, he said it was an opening like one of the larger um, needles that you would use when you're doing cadavers. It's not the normal hospital. It was like that big of a hole in his chest. The blood was pouring out of his chest. His wife ran and got towels. They were soaking it up. They didn't know what was happening. And he told me, I still have those towels if you want to take it to a laboratory and get it analyzed. Well, I did, said the only thing it would show would be that it was his blood. But after a little bit, it slowed down and stopped. The next day, there was no sign of anything. But what made it unusual was that the wife was there. Now, earlier, he had had an experience where he was sitting at a desk writing at night and he suddenly had this bright light filled the entire room. He looked around and behind him out the window was a small ball of light. And when it saw him, it flashed away and you flew off in the sky. So when I did the session, I wanted to know what was happening. So we found out that when he was sitting at the desk, this ball of light was like a machine, a robotic machine that had been sent down. And what it does is analyze the body. The light was because it was looking through his body from the back and seeing the internal organs. And then when he saw it, it flew away. Well, then I went into the part about what happened that night when he was sitting in bed and the blood came. They said they had discovered that he had a, a problem with a heart valve. And they went ahead and fixed it. They said they didn't have time to wait till he went to sleep. It had to be done right away. And in these cases, sometimes they can be invisible. They, you know, or you don't know what all they can do. They can manipulate time, space, matter. They can make things appear for you. They can make things invisible to anyone else. They have complete control over time, space, and everything. So they were invisible as they worked on this, and they replaced the heart valve. And then I did her, the, the wife, I did them separately so they wouldn't hear each other's uh, session. And I wanted to know why was she allowed to witness it? They said, well, we didn't have time for her to mosey on back downstairs. <laughs> So they did replace the heart valve. I've had three cases in the last year where procedures like this have been done on the body. In some cases, the doctors don't know what has happened because they said they were going to operate and now they don't need to. So I've had case after case of this like this, so I know they are taking care of the ones that are in this project. At one lecture, a man came up to me and said, how do you get in this program? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I'm not the one that choose. But they did say they have as many as tens of thousands of people all over the world that they are monitoring and watching their bodies to see what is happening. The main thing is they are very concerned about what we are doing to our bodies. They are concerned about the additives and preservatives in our food. They're concerned about the pollutants in the atmosphere 
and how this is affecting our bodies. They're concerned about the increase in cancer and different diseases.